All right, hi folks. Uh, what I want to show you today is a little bit about how to identify minerals. Uh, so I just started off with uh, a nice big delicious box of minerals here. And the first thing I kind of wanted to show you is the difference between a metallic and a non-metallic. Let me go a little faster, slow down a little bit, it's hard to see. <laughs> but uh, uh, metallic and non-metallic minerals, right? So let's look here. I'll pull out the ones that I would call metallic minerals, right? These guys here. These guys here, all right, and this one here, all right. Now all of these are very sparkly, shiny, right? They all kind of look like they could conduct electricity. They're brassy, right? Something like that, right? Galena there. Um, anyway, those are this. These are metallic minerals, right? And part of the definition of metallic minerals is even in the thinnest pieces under a microscope. You can't see through them. Now we're not going to, of course, do that test. I just want to kind of show you there, right? So those are metallic. These, however, are non-metallic, right? right? See the difference here? We have a dark, a metal, a really shiny kind of metal, right? This one looks more like burnt wood, you know, or something like that. Quite often this looks like burnt wood, right? But he's not metallic-y, right? He doesn't really look like... You could conduct electricity when you compare them with these guys, right? Actually, in your boxes, there are no just straight black uh, metallic minerals, right? These are, again, non-metallic. If we stuck these under a microscope, they would, uh, uh, you know, if I slice them thin, we could see through them, right? So, now what I kind of want to do is just go through the process of using these flow charts here, right, to identify minerals. So let's start with one of these minerals, right? I might as well start with the very first one, right? In this box, yep. So first thing I'm going to do is determine if it is metallic or non-metallic. What would you say, Bryce? Does that look like it can conduct electricity? Nope. No, nope. yeah, absolutely not. Uh, this is a non-metallic one. So we are on this side of the paper, right? The second half, that is our metallic. Right, Bryce, are you watching what I do? Okay. They're metallic, right? This is our non-metallic. So we're non-metallic. I mean, look, the next thing we have to check is, is it harder than glass or is it softer than glass? So now we're going to take our little glass plate, and this is our hardness test, right? Find an edge, a nice kind of, you know, sharp edge of the mineral. Put the plate, though, make sure you put it on a table or a nice flat hard surface, not in your hand, right? We don't want you to try to do that and then, you know, you lacerate your hand, that would be terrible, right? So let's start with this. All right, let's check this out. And when you do these, you can really give it to it. It either will scratch it or it won't. Definitely scratch there, can you see that, right? So we are harder than glass, right? Let's look if we have cleavage. Do we think we have cleavage? Well, do you see any mineral surfaces shining at you? All right? Does one just kind of light up when it when I turn this? Mm -hmm. Yep. And even kind of on that uneven edge there. Oh, look at that edge there, right? Very shiny, very shiny. I would say we have, and then this one, you know, not so much. You can't get that whole thing to shine at us. So two cleavage directions. We had about 90 degrees, right? Pretty close. All right, so we have two planes at 90 degrees, right? Do we have striations? Now striations are the little tiny lines just like in your fingernails, dead straight, right? What I see in here are more kind of little wavy, you know, pinkish and greenish kind of lines, right? And then kind of whitish lines. They're a little more wavy, they aren't dead straight, right? So I'm gonna say no striations, right? So is it dark in color or is it medium or light in color? And remember pinks and reds, those are light colors. Light in color. Right? So here we have orthoclase feldspar. All right, let's try another one. Bryce, select another mineral from the box of minerals. So that one there, okay. That's a fun one, all right. So first off, is that metallic or non-metallic? Looks like non-metallic. Non-metallic, absolutely. It does not look like a metal at all, right? What do you notice about uh, the cleavage on it right away? It's very shiny. Yep, 
and it's a rhombohedron, right? A tilted square, right? So, or tilted um, a cube, right? This is rhombohedral. So that's pretty obvious. We don't even need to break this to see its cleavage, right? We have one, two, three directions of cleavage, right? Not at right angles, right? Let's see if we can get this to scratch the glass. All right, here we go. I'm gonna really give it to it. Really give it to it. No. We did not scratch the glass, right? Really scratch sort of. Yeah, I think that's just left over on there. See, the rubber fingernails here, we can feel it. I scratched the glass. Right. Didn't really have anything over there. Nope. Does not scratch glass. All right. So, it's softer than glass. We're right down here on the chart, right? Um, now, do we have how many cleavage planes do we say we had? We had three, right? Yes. Three planes at 90 or not at 90, right? not at 90 right um we already know which one we're on here we're on calcite but just to show you does it react to acid indeed folks indeed folks it does right calcite our carbonate it reacts to dilute hydrochloric acid right perfect all right pick another one buddy mm. Let's go with number nine or six. Yeah. Okay, all right, perfect. This one, all right. Now, does that look metallic or non-metallic? That kind of looks metallic, sort of. Yeah, it's non-metallic. Even if we went to the, the thinnest edges, right? Basically, what is, it feels like kind of little bits of, of green sand, basically. You feel these little, like, kind of gritty feature that's very common of this rock, right? So... Right. Okay. feels kind of like green little gritty sands, right? If you actually stuck them under a microscope, you'd see that they're clear and glassy green crystals all stuck together. Let's see, do we scratch glass? You can hear it scratching the glass, can't you? Yeah, it definitely scratches the glass. So we are harder than glass, right? This one's going to be hard to tell uh, because it's all tiny little crystals, but I'll tell you, it does not have cleavage. It has conchoidal fracture right so no cleavage harder than glass right we're up here reddish brown and pink green or a variable color i'll go with green right and indeed we have here olivine olivine is olive green this is one of our highest temperature minerals right one of the first silicates to crystallize out this is uh, isolated tetrahedra with iron and magnesium stuck to it all right okay all right um Let's do this one more time. Right, select one more, one more mineral here mm. from the box. At your randomness. I'm thinking. Oh, that one. Okay, another good one, right? So these are both the same mineral, and basically what we've done here is we've taken it and we've we've looked at this is the the crystal faces of this, right? So this has kind of a pointy hexagonal kind of shaped crystal to it, right? And uh, this is the way it fractures or, or cleaves. So just to show you that this doesn't have cleavage, it has fracture, right? So we already know that. Are we metallic or non-metallic? Uh, non-metallic. Non-metallic, all right. Uh, so we're non-metallic. Uh, next one, are we harder or softer than glass? Oh man, I can feel that scraping. Yep, he is harder than glass, right? No cleavage, harder than glass, right? Is he like a dark kind of reddish or pink, green, or is he a, a different color? A uh, variable. Variable color, right? Quartz, right? Quartz that can be everything from clear to pitch black and everything in between, right? Just for fun, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do a metallic mineral now. So I'm going to grab, uh, let's say this little dude here. All right. You're not even pointing it at me. <laughs> okay. Grab this little dude here, right? And let's look, so we're metallic luster, right? Very metal, very shiny, right? Uh, most of ours are, are pretty much softer than, than glass, so we don't really worry about that here. But what we're looking at is streak, right? Dark color, right? Are we talking gray or dark grays or a brass or brassy yellow? So we're grays, right? Uh, do we have a gray or black streak? Indeed, we have a black streak, right? So do we have is it strongly magnetic? Oh, here's a little magnet. Let's find out here. No. Does it have cubic cleavage? Can you see shapes and res like hints of squares all through there? Kind of yeah. a little. Uh, yeah. Cubic cleavage. 
and this actually has a high specific gravity if you hold it it's actually quite a bit heavier than you think it should be right? oh wow yeah right <laughs> this is galena galena galenes all right folks um let me know if you have any questions about this lab thank you very much yeah.